trying to really embrace local culture history and natural history. It gives your expedition some context, it means you can learn loads in a really meaningful way. Here on Rum, my skill base isn't that useful. I would be best at surveying and photographing wildlife, but there's lots of people on Rum doing that. It's protective for the birds, for the natural history, for the geology, so it's teeming with people doing those things already. I've talked to them to see if I could help. You might be able to see a goat on the cliffs behind me there. They wanted to see if the goats were doing okay on this side of the island. They're eating all the non-native plants. They've never let sheep on here while Scottish natural heritage have been maintaining the island because sheep eat too much. But this corral that I'm in now would have had sheep in it a long time ago. The crofters who lived here would have kept their sheep here and would have lived in there. A couple of families either side of the chimney place in the middle. But hundreds of years ago, the landowners in Scotland were given huge swathes of land and they got taxes from these crofters. But they decided they would get more money by putting loads of sheep on and getting rid of the crofters. So their local reps were forced to make their friends and families leave their crofts and they were given free passage to Canada if they wanted it. But they were forced to leave the land. That was the, probably the most important part of the cultural history of this area.